actually going to meet my dad. What if he throws me out? Or even worse, what if he doesn't believe me? Nancy, he's your father. Yeah, except he doesn't know I exist. I'm scared, Lyle. He'll read your mom's letters and he'll know right away. I hope so. Look, I better do this before I lose my nerve. Honey, trust me. It's all going to work out perfect. This is our big day. The day we've been waiting for. You're finally going to meet your father. And he's going to love you. And I'm finally going to show those bastards at Bellascope that they can't get away with murder. By the time you get back, this evidence will be in the hands of the FBI and it'll all be over. Thank God. It's been a tough year and you've been a real champ. Mm. I'm really proud of you. You're doing the right thing. So are you. Good luck. Thanks. Oh, I love you. I love you. Mm. A drive? No. Could be under the music. He's making a call. Intercept. FBI, how may I direct your call? This is Lyle Douglas. I have proof that Balloscope is engaged in criminal activity that's a threat to national security. My darling daughter Nancy, since you found this letter, it means I've passed away. It is time you learned about your father. He was a peaceful, gentle soul in spite of his choice in careers. As I recall, he always brought out the best in people. Because you're Raider fans. <laughs> now get out of here before I add up the damages. Go on, get out of here. Go on. Yeah. Howard, I'm too quick for you. You always remember that. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Hi, excuse me. Hi. Hey. Uh, uh, um, do you know him? Butch? I, I don't know. Uh, is he Marion McMahon? That's him. Most people call him Butch, though. So. Butch, you know, could you do me a favor? Could you give him this for me? Sure, but why don't you take it on over to him? Uh, it's a long story. Mm. Uh, I think it would be best if you read it before we actually met. You sure? Yeah, yeah. I am really sure. Thank you. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Hey, big guy. What? Got another fan letter for you. Yeah. Who gave you this? A young woman. She just left. Butch, what's this all about? Well, according to this, she's my daughter. I didn't know you had any kids. Yeah, me either. Yeah, me neither. Female subject, ETA, 90 seconds. Clear. Acknowledged. Clearing out now. Oh. Lyle! 
I couldn't do it. I just... I don't sound like it was a good idea. should have told you and I hope someday you can find it in your heart to forgive me. Your father was a real good man and our time together was very special, but it wasn't meant to be. Marion had a dream and Marian. I could not believe in. If he's still alive, I hope you get a chance to meet him. You're a fine young woman and he'd be proud of you. I wish I'd been a better mother, Nancy, but please know my last moments are filled with love for you. Goodbye, my dear little girl. Love, Mom. Man, you believe this? It was written last year. That's you, right, Butch? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's me and Eunice Jones. Yeah, I met Eunice Jones out in uh, Blackport, California, right before the Golden Gloves. Hell, I wasn't but 19 years old, and Eunice, she didn't like the fight game at all. When I told her I was turning pro, she told me it's boxing or her. Chose boxing? Yeah, I chose boxing. But I didn't know she was pregnant. Butch, why don't we make sure she really is your daughter? Friends, right, Butch. We don't know if she's for real. Who knows how she got that letter, the snapshot. For all we know, it could be a cop. Yeah, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. But still, it's possible that Eunice Jones had my child. Now, I'd know the truth if I saw her. Did she say anything at all? No, just that she wanted you to read the letter before you met. Can you help find her? Let's see what we can do. Where are you going to start? 293-A4F. You fellas got her license plate number. You yeah. bet. How's your relationship with Marita's replacement over at the precinct? Strained. Yeah, how strained? <laughs> huh? About to find no, out. Hello. Yeah, give me Angela Lopez and R&I, please. Angela R&I. Angela. Hey, Carlos. Hey, listen, about last week, there was a... There was a... It was a dog. This might take a while. And Office. I, I just couldn't go back in there. I'll be back in a few minutes. You mind waiting? Mm, not at all. So, it's kind of hanky here, Sarge. I don't know what the story is. I mean, other than the female occupant screaming, the neighbor said it's been pretty quiet. Did they know any occupants? No. You know, the caller and her boyfriend moved in last month, kept mostly to themselves. We'll get the girl in. So, Miss Jones, you can uh, see my problem here. Lyle. Lyle was lying right there. Sure he was dead? Uh, yeah, I, I, he looked dead. His neck was all twisted. Dead bodies don't usually uh, walk away. I know that. But when I came in here, this place, it, it, it was a mess. They must have taken Lyle and just put everything back like it was. Who are they? A balloscope. Balloscope. Uh, the defense contractor, Lyle, worked for them, and he had proof that, that this navigation system that they were selling to the government for the next generation stealth bomber, well, it had this fatal design flaw. And Balloscope knew that, but they were covering it up. And Lyle was going to call the FBI this morning and just turn it all over to them. Peck, can you uh, check that out? 
What kind of proof? Uh, it was test reports that they had altered. It's, it's all in the computer. The computer was here. Right. Um, what, what, was it a laptop? Or? No, it wasn't a laptop, okay? I saw him scan the documents in this morning, and, and he made a backup disk, too. Were you and your fiancé having problems in your relationship? Why are you asking me all these stupid questions? Can you come with me? Yes, I can come with you. Um, you and Lyle shared this room? Yes. In the closet as well? Yes. Any suitcases missing? Uh, two. And uh, his, his garment bag. And everything was okay between you and Lyle. Don't you get it? There are billions of dollars at stake here. Perhaps you should talk to your friends. You know what? I don't have any friends in Dallas, okay? Balloscope transferred Lyle here to get him out of the way when he started making waves. Excuse me, detective. Excuse me, please. <sighs> Miss Jones. Look, I know what I saw, okay? Lyle was dead on the floor. He called the FBI. Just check with them. We just did. There's no record of any such call. Uh, um. Then, then, then they're in on it. This has obviously been a difficult day, but the police department can't help you cope with the breakup of your relationship. It would be my suggestion that you seek professional help. I'm sorry, Miss Jones. I truly am. Really? I'm really sorry, huh? You know what? I really, I really don't care what you think. Because I know that they killed him. All right, people, you heard the lady. We did not find a backup disc. Well, maybe he didn't make one. I'll assume he did. Besides, the female was a hysteric, and I do not want her showing up on 6 o'clock news. Go back in, find the disc, and neutralize the female. Copy that, sir. Is it just me, Riker? Or is this starting to get messy? It's just you, my dear. That's it. Yep. Registered last month to a Lyle Douglas. Thank you, Angela. What did that cost you? No. Oh. Have to take her to see cats again next week. How many times does that mean? Stop counting after I can hum the entire score backwards. <laughs> what apartment are they in? Wasn't in the computer. We gotta check the main office. All right. Lyle, what am I gonna do? It's over here. Yep, this is it. Arts training. I couldn't hurt. Where's the girl? You didn't see her run out? No, the furniture was moved around too fast. Why didn't you take him out? We tried. Good.
the hell are they? I don't know, but the last thing we need are more players. Same stencil here. It's all rental furniture. Peace agreement in the name of Lyle Douglas and Nancy Jones. It moved in six weeks ago. Nancy Jones probably only a few thousand of those. It sounds like they're more interested in the female. Cops. No, I don't think so. She's gone. Oh, terrific. We're moving into the bedroom. She was a con artist. Who knows who she's crossed? Right. Or maybe this Lyle guy was into something. Or maybe none of the above. Is that the girl you saw in uppercuts? Yep. Show it to Butch. Maybe he'll be able to tell if she's his daughter or not. No man's clothes. Where's Mr. Douglas? Did you have Angela run a make on him? Mm-hmm. No wants, no warrants. Let's see what we got here. Uh, California driver's license, Nancy Jones, Mendocino. Credit card. Let's bring the purse with us. You can carry it. Run the plates on the vet. I want to find out who these junior G-men are and why they care. Locate the applicants they mentioned and find out who this butch is. It's probably the female's father. I do not want probably in the equation. We have to find her. They bagged her purse so she's without resources. And she told the cop she's without friends here in Dallas, which means she's lost in space. Would you get a flatbed for a car? The Douglas's body and trunk. I want it at the bottom of the lake by sundown. Got it. What about the backup disc? Well, it could be in the car, which we control, in the purse, which we do not, or in the apartment, which we will. I want you to go back in, find the disc. If it's in there, we'll find it. From top to bottom, sir. Yes, Sabina. Now it's getting messy. Uh, it's, it's hard to tell. An argument could be made that she's got your eyes. Ed, Eunice's nose, maybe, but uh, I'd have to see her in person and talk to her to be sure. Well, whoever Nancy Jones is, she's in deep trouble. Maybe she brought it on herself. Well, maybe she did. Are you guys still there? We're here. Oh, great, great. Stay there. I'm coming down. Kim Setter, 28. She runs their office. Malloy and Sandoval rent space from Marion McMahon. And McMahon's the alleged father. Golden Gloves champ, heavyweight boxer. 30 knockouts, three draws, one loss, which resulted in a detached retina ending his career. He tried to join the cops. They didn't want his medical problems, so he opened up his own PI shop, got tired of peeking in windows, bought the bar below. Uppercuts is in the black. Thunder Investigations is not. All right, I want ears in that office. I want you to get something in that bar, too. No problem. Is she my daughter? Hold on a second there, butchy old boy. First things first. Now, if she is your daughter, we don't pay rent for the next six months. What? If she's not, we're sorry, but for our efforts, we get two months rent free and you extend our grace period from two days to a week. Now, you all didn't say anything about that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. They work the cases, I make the deals. Kimberly, is she my daughter? Maybe. Okay, look, I checked the items in her purse. The Mendocino address checked out to be a townhouse leased by Lyle Douglas, and they moved out seven weeks ago. I also found two library cards, one from Mendocino and another one that was expired, issued to a Nancy Jones of Blackport, California. All right, we have Blackport, last name Jones, same as Eunice, right age, same eyes. Exactly. So, we're probably in it for the free rent. But here's the kicker. Kicker? Yeah. Lyle Douglas. What about him? I am getting no hits on him at all. As far as I can tell, Lyle Douglas has just dropped off the face of the earth. Mm, not quite. Angela Lopez shows him buying a new car in Dallas six weeks ago. I, of course, don't get access to confidential police reports. <laughs> Wait, what? Neither will I if I stand her up again. I called Angela, and not only did I tell her you would be late, I sent her a dozen roses. <laughs> I owe you. Yeah, big time. Yeah. All right, I'll catch you later. Right, we'll go back to the apartment. Uh, Kim, anything on Eunice, Jones? Um, yeah. Butch, Eunice died two months ago in Blackport. It was lung cancer. I'm really sorry. No. It's probably when Nancy found the letter in her belongings. I wonder where she is. Poor kid's got to be scared to death. <clears throat> we'll see you in a bit.
few more hours and Lyle Douglas never existed. Good. Good. You can erase the female, too. Shouldn't we wait until she's dead? Why? It's just a matter of time. Next, we'll bug the bar downstairs. And that's the story from here. An attempted carjacking leaves one dead and two wounded. This is Margaret Bush. Now back to Gavin in the studio. Great. Got it, Margaret. Excuse me. Uh, I have a story for you. Doesn't everyone? My fiancé was murdered because he was about to report that a defense contractor was selling shoddy parts and then they stole his body. Really? You have to put this story on the air tonight. They'll get away with it if you don't. And, and they're going to kill me, too. You're really my last chance. Who are you talking about? FBI secret agents. See, I told the police, but they didn't believe me. And I, I think that they might even be in on it, too. I'm going to have to get back to you. back for it. The keys were in her purse. Maybe it was impounded. I'll have Angela check it out. Speaking of Angela, how did it go last night? I don't kiss and tell. No luck, huh? <laughs> what were they were looking for? It had to be something small for looking inside book covers. The library's not going to take this one back. Who are these guys? Pros with unlimited resources and determination. My FBI, CIA. Maybe, but why? And where is Lyle Douglas? The more we learn, the less we know. time last night oh me too and the flowers yesterday were beautiful well i selected them especially for you oh you should have thanked him for me okay so you got me mm -hmm. listen can you please ah, ha, ha. the tone shifts to i love you baby but i need a favor how do you always manage to walk around and set my head because you always leave the door wide open what do you need can you run those license plates for me again? Do you mind if I ask why? Kim's coming up empty on this Lyle Douglas guy. And Kim never comes up empty on anybody. That's the license number. We have 293-A4F. That's impossible. What's the address again? 12500 Merritt Drive. Apartment 5116. I thought that address sounded familiar. We had a homicide reported there yesterday, but it turned out to be a false alarm. Called in by Nancy Jones? Hmm. Who handled it? Your best friend, Detective Ryan. <laughs> she was a fruitcake. Oh, she's a missing fruitcake. Uh, you know the drill. Wait 72 hours, then file a missing persons report. Downstairs. This is more than a missing persons case, all right? She could be dead. That's what she said about her boyfriend. Dead usually means a body. I don't think these guys leave bodies. Check out our apartment. I and mean, someone did a real number on it. Maybe you? No. Looking for on. clues? Will I find your prints there? Well, of course you're gonna. No, 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 stop. I, I don't care if you want to play cop. Just don't do it on the taxpayer's dime. That's wrong. You know, Ryan, you're such a. What, 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 what? What am I? What am I? Prince. You're a real prince. <laughs> Love you too, baby. Hey. Oh. I don't believe this. 
You know, two hours ago, I could have told you the name of the doctor who delivered her and, and, and where she went to grade school. And now it's gone like Lyle Douglas. Yeah. Nancy Jones is dropping off the radar screen. Man, I'm telling you what, these guys are good. But you know what I don't understand? What? I mean, if she's in so much trouble, why doesn't she just go see her father? She knows where he is now. She might be too scared. You didn't find a Dallas library card in her purse, did you? Um, no. Maybe she had it on her. See if a new one was recently issued. Sure. Did you go there? No. Go there now. The Addison Branch issued a library card to Nancy Jones two weeks ago, and she's checked out four books. Any recent checkouts? <laughs> yeah, very recently this morning. Yeah, heavy reading, too. The Attorney General's Manual on Investigating and Prosecuting Corruption in the Government. Lyle was an aviation engineer who worked for a defense contractor before he dropped out of sight. Good connection. Hornsdell Park is near the Addison Branch, right? Yeah, it is, but that's that's kind of a long shot. No, 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 no. She's on foot. How far could she go? See if she requested any other books. It might help us know what she's looking for. Okay. Got it. Well, but what's going on? She's gone. What? Nancy Jones does not have a Dallas library card, and she never did. All right, find Carlos. Have him meet me at Barnsdale Park as soon as he can. You got it. Target Barnsdale Park. We're rolling full unit on this one. Roger. Stealth one to stealth two. This is important. People could die. Listen, just let me talk to somebody in the attorney general's office. Well, I have to call collect. I don't have any money. But I... Nancy Jones? No, don't run, please. Your father sent us. You gave me the envelope, remember? I'm Trent Malloy. This is Carlos Sandoval. Your father wants to see you. Why? He doesn't even know me. I don't even know what to do. Tell us what's going on. Sit down. Maybe we can help you. Okay. Malloy's here. That's his vet. That's Sandoval's Durango. Stealth one, deploy to recon. Scanner's place nearest DPD unit, three miles away. Response time, five minutes. Three entrances, two pay phones, a service road to the lavatories, four miles to the nearest cop shop. Good. Vision on the suspects. Picked and tailed into the southwest corner by the marina. Hold your positions. So Balascope transferred Lyle to the Texas facility so he'd stop making waves. They probably didn't discover that he'd copied documents until this week. Wait, so are these bombers flying? No, but they're in production. That's why Lyle took so many risks. Still two. Initiate strike. <laughs> Did I make a backup disk? Well, he backed up everything. It's probably still on the computer. No, I don't think so. Yeah, that's why they came back. To find the disk. From the looks of the place, I'll bet they didn't. You must think you have it or you know where it is. I don't. Okay, first things first. Let's introduce you to your father. Okay. I hope he's ready for this. Go, go! Initiate attack. Kill all subjects. Go! Take Nancy! Call 911! I'll get the runner out to the cops. Get here! Yes, get inside! Stay down. Stay down. The Marina Point Cell Park. Shots fired. Officer down. Need assistance. All right, he's 
dead. Turn around. Yeah. Please, do you? Not exactly. Well, let's go find her. How'd they know where she'd be? We led them to her. How'd they know we'd be? Electronics. They bugged our office? They probably bugged our shorts. We can use that to our advantage. We couldn't find the girl. Well, they don't have her either. So, we're still in the game. All right, what happened? Did you find her? Yep. She's in a lot of trouble, Butch. Where is she? We don't know. We were attacked by whoever's after her. The dust clear, she'd split. So, you really saw her? Yeah. Gave us this disc. Oh, uh, well, what is it? The backup disc Lyle made before they killed him. Nancy gave it to us in the park. Yeah, pop it in the computer. Let's see what we have. Okay. All right, we're in business. Huh? Must be hundreds of documents there. Keep scrolling. Okay, I'm I'm scrolling along. Right. Well, top secret. Uh, get into that one, Kim. Let's see what we have. Okay. Why is Lyle Douglas was thorough? Cross-referenced everything. Balloscope can never explain this in open court. Stealth bomber. No wonder they killed him. The only problem is this disc is meaningless unless someone can testify that Lyle scanned actual balloscope documents. Only Nancy can do that. Uh-huh. Now it's all beginning to make sense. They need the disc and Nancy in order to make everything go away. You got it. Well, what's cool is they don't know that uh, we have the disc or that Nancy's got a date with her daddy this afternoon. Say what? She can't wait to meet you. She said she'd be here at 3 o'clock. And after this reunion, we'll take Nancy and the disc to the FBI. Right, and until then, we have to find a safe place to stash the disc. Kim, put it under your seat cushion. I'll never look there. Right, nobody even knows we have it. OK, that's a, that's a good idea. These clowns wouldn't last two minutes in my operation. Rookies. <laughs> Your father is a proud and stubborn man, but if you find him, and I pray that you try, you'll find that he's a man of integrity, a man you can trust, a man to turn to in times of need. To be honest, Butch, I really believe Nancy is your daughter. Yeah, I can't wait to find out for sure. Well, she'll be here in five minutes. Deployed. Nice sport jacket. Yeah? Too bad. It's showtime. There she is. Tell Laddick to get on her. Roger that. Oh, Robertson has access to their office. Excellent. Objectives in sight. There she comes. I just got a face full of red dye. 
can safely assume he doesn't have the disc. We've been set up. Come on. Going after Kim. face. Sabina, I want you to get out there. Kill her. Manson? never to hit a woman, so it's... But I think in your case, you'd make an exception. Kim took her up to the office. You took your time? You were right. Angel confirmed they've been erased from all data banks. You didn't believe me? Nine times out of ten, I would have been right. Well, we still have a problem. We don't have the disc. It wasn't in the apartment or in her purse, and she didn't have it on her. It only leaves one place where it could be. Where? Wow, 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 wow. Hey, Joe, can I get that picture frame? Yeah, sure. Thanks, man. Yeah. Well, I'll hit it behind the picture. Everything you need to take down Balloscope and their hired goons should be right on here. Hmm. The uh, Douglas homicide was your call, wasn't it, Ryan? Man, be a hero. I need to question the girl. We'll bring her down in a while. This is someone she needs to meet first. Uh-oh. What happened to you? <laughs> what happened to you? <laughs> the next time you brainiacs get the genius idea to use exploding die packs, you're cleaning it up. You can't even believe the mess of... Forever. Perfect. <laughs> 